Hey guys, today I want to tell you something about geopolymers because um, I found out that many people they think a geopolymer is something like a very difficult system and um, if you read the papers of those professionals you know, like professors, doctoral students, um, researchers, uh, that kind you get kind of the impression that it is something very difficult and super complex and uh, it's really not so easy or even possible to um, yeah make a good uh, uh, material out of geopolymers but it's not true geopolymer is easy a geopolymer is very easy you can write it down on a cocktail uh, a paper on a small paper you know um, they say if you cannot re uh, write it down on like a small piece of paper then it is not a very good um, idea but uh, you can do this this with the geopolymer so the easiest geopolymer and surprise surprise it is one of the best is just putting one gram of metacaoline metacaoline one gram of metacaoline one gram of water glass solution with a modulus of 3.3 and a solid content of about 35%, 0.2 grams of sodium hydroxide and about the same amount, 0.2 grams of water. You mix that together in the right direction and after only, let's say, 12 hours to 24 hours, it, become, it becomes rock solid. And the nice thing is, rock solid is really the appropriate term because the, um, the, the chemical binding structure which we can achieve in this way and that the chemical binding structure is the only thing that governs the characteristics of a stone uh, or of any material, okay? Those uh, um, chemical binding bindings in the uh, achieved geopolymer is really the same as in silicate class, as a normal class. Um, the only difference is in the geopolymer, yeah, we have a nanoporosity and um, that is because of the water we use and this porosity has therefore the size of the water molecules which are 280 picometers and the porosity the pores in the geopolymer is therefore around 300 picometers uh, about the same as in theolites and yeah it's that easy to make a geopolymer and you can easily um, characterize it by various analysis techniques and it is not something you can have another opinion about okay geopolymers are easy geopolymers can be made by everything and don't guys let you fool by them saying you cannot use metacaroline because metacaroline is not uh, environmentally friendly look it up the uh, German chemical company BASF they trade metacaroline lines basically as a ingredient for concrete and um, the cement industry they tell you yeah our concrete it is very good look these are the characteristics yeah and that the characteristics are that good because they put in in many cases in some cases a lot of metacaroline line but um, the same the same guys tell you you cannot use metacaroline line in geopolymers yeah of course because they have no interest in you making a good geopolymer okay yeah so that was what i wanted to say today about geopolymers um like and sub like and subscribe if you liked it and we will stay in touch bye guys